G'day Internet, welcome to Stick Ninjas Devlog episode 10. My name is Andrew Russell. And it's not been a very productive week this week. Um, you might remember last week where I left off, I'd started working on a GUI system. And that started off okay, uh, and I was really happy with how that um, was structured initially. Um, I come up with a very clever way of handling uh, the GUI so that any game object could become part of the GUI and properly handle mouse focus and all that sort of GUI jazz. And what I wanted to do with this is uh, take my graphing tool and turn it into like a video editor with sort of tracks at the bottom and a game view and be able to scroll around the tracks and scroll up and down multiple different tracks and and all that jazz and I was going to have uh, make it easy to handle different clients and um, whatnot by having multiple tracks and it was all going to be good. And this is as far as I got with it. Um, so you can see sort of the initial work on getting the tracks working. And basically I've deleted this uh, completely and the reason that I scrapped it is it's just the GUI code. Um, the foundation was great, it was easy to use, uh, it was quick, but getting handling all the layout and making things scroll um, properly and react properly to having these splitters being moved and stuff, it was it was a disaster. It's like coding in treacle. Um, and the whole idea of this uh, graphing tool is it's supposed to be really quick and painless uh, to modify and test things out. It's supposed to have a really fast iteration cycle so I can test out uh, different algorithms for the networking code and see if they work. And having to, like if I want to, if I want to write an algorithm for to do whatever and then I have to go and write some GUI layout code on top of it before I can test it, that's that's no good. Um, so I've gone back to the old system which is just shortcut keys and these little dinky little bars at the top that are sort of just thrown together uh, that do the job really well. So I haven't had much time to work on much else this week uh, after deleting all that. Um, I've just basically made some improvements to the to the graphing tool. Uh, so you can see that here, so the, probably the first thing you'll notice is that the um, you can see the Stick Ninja character now, and you can also see this bouncing box guy um, as I pan across and so I can fast forward and rewind time. So that's sort of half of the idea of the editing system is already in there. Um, so it's actually working out a lot better to not do it. Um, so I can pick out any frame and view the simulation at that frame. Um, and also I've made it multi-threaded, so if I make a change to the inputs, it'll go off and calculate that on another thread without interrupting the uh, interface, which is really quite good. It makes it significantly faster uh, to modify things. Um, and so I've added inputs for firing the weapon, and this sort of is a bit complicated uh, the way this works, but um, you can set the aim position and then apply it to different frames. Um, so that's basically all the inputs covered. Eventually I might like to um, make it possible to record a gameplay session, but uh, I'll worry about that later. Anyway, um, the whole idea of this is to make it really easy to uh, test out different ways of solving networking problems that come up. And basically the two problems that I have are sort of, at the moment, uh, the critical to the game, if you like. Um, and it's basically two weapon types. It's projectile weapons and instant hit weapons. So you can see that here. Um, I'll show you the projectile weapon first on the server. So he's running along and he fires his weapon and it shoots and it's all good. But if I do this on the client where the uh, position gets predicted um, and is essentially in the future relative to the position coming down from the server, uh, the missile appears behind the player and then fires through him. So this is, this is not very good. Uh, so I need to fix this. And then also there's instant hit weapons, which is uh, currently a bit of a disaster. Um, not really sure what's wrong with this. There's a, some sort of replication bug that you can see uh, as, as the player moves around, the positions that he's firing in on the client get shifted around by the server as sort of interpolation between snapshots takes effect and prediction takes effect. And it's not really sure what's going on here, but that's what the uh, graphing tool is for, for me to debug this. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm working on now. So next week hopefully I'll have this fixed and I can start working on getting the uh, game playable on an actual network with uh, multiple players. Um, 
so that'll be good so yeah uh thanks for watching everyone if you'd like to uh, get notified when i put up uh next week's video uh, you can subscribe to my blog at andrewrussell.net or you can follow me on twitter at underscore andrew russell or you can subscribe on youtube and of course if you'd like to uh learn when stick ninjas becomes available for playable pre-order uh, you can visit stickninjas.com and put your email address in the uh, little email address form. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next week.